Many fighters only know how to show off and trash talk their opponents before a fight. But when it's time for action, you see them chicken out and get humbled by their opponents. In this video, we've curated some of the best moments when cocky fighters got what they deserved. Right from their weigh-ins in Arrogant Rodriguez has been looking for ways to intimidate young Ryan Garcia. He continued during their fight at Madison Square Garden, but he was knocked down by a left hook right hand combination in the opening round. For the fight, he's here for one of the announcing teams. Good hook! And Rodriguez goes down. Rodriguez started the second round by playing around with the crowd, shaking his hands and feet off every Garcia's punch. Look, anything that might throw the blue chip prospect off his game, I guess you've got to try and who knows, perhaps it will lightning fast hook from Garcia. Rodriguez never able to even turn around. He turned him into a southpaw. Getting wild and woolly. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, the fans get upset about this sometimes if you're not, if it's not effective. Trying to get by that extended left hand, and he does. Right hand and a hook by Garcia. Rodriguez. But all that ended with a blowout as Garcia landed two big rights, followed by a left uppercut to put up a knockout, followed by another left hook that threw Rodriguez onto the ring apron. This is over. But Rod gone. Lipton got to 10. You're supposed to count, and he did. That was sensational. In December 2020, Frank Sanchez and Julian Fernandez met on the undercard of the Canelo Alvarez vs. Callum Smith fight in Texas. Fernandez had teased his opponent throughout the fight before inviting him to give his best punch in a rather embarrassing showboat. The Cuban flash obliged and smashed Fernandez with a devastating big right hand, followed by two more swings that sent Fernandez tumbling backward out of the ring. Fernandez got the, the less legs that he had to defend against that. And, and you can tell by the way that his body reacted. He just, you know, going out of the ring like that because your body's out, your legs are out. And good work by Sanchez, right. even though he had his man hurt. The 30-year-old super lightweight was down on the scorecards against Sidiri, having been dropped twice at the Morningside Arena in Leicester. With the clock expiring in the 10th round, Sidiri was taunting his opponent as he mimed taking a bow and started dancing around with his hands behind his back and exposing his chin. Maxwell never gave up and landed his best shot of the night with 14 seconds left to send Sidiri sprawling. A devastating right hand sent the Frenchman to the canvas. Oh, great shot! Left hand, right hand from Maxwell. Well, where did that come from? I can hardly believe what I've seen. Look at this. This is again Sidiri's dominant there. Oh, that was easy at all when he walked with him and he didn't. And then Sidiri will regret that now because where he should have jumped on him. Look at him. Playing the clown. Well, that, that was that was just stupid. Cost him the fight. That was crazy. Cost him the fight. Really. One, more, one more punch there and Sidiri might have put him away. As it happened. Oh. Bang. <laughs> and look at Maxwell. It's the, the scream, the shout. Because he knew. He knew he needed. In his fight against Lucy and Butte in 2010, Edison Miranda lost the first two rounds and was hurt by a couple of shots to the head in the third round. But in an attempt to show that he is not hurt, Miranda lowered his hands to his waist and clowned in the middle of the ring. After he let down his guard the second time, Butte caught him by a hard left uppercut to the chin that sent him face down to the canvas. He didn't 
And here we're going to take another look at it. That uppercut. Miranda did not see that coming. Didn't expect it. Landed flush on the chin. I mean, he was fully surprised. He put his head down, figuring just to get away from a punch, but he put his head right into an Adrian Broner versus Marcos Maidana. I got the ability to make all hard work look like easy work. So all work for me is easy work. Madonna, we don't make easy work out of his ass, so. It's gonna get ugly. I'm talking, I'm talking Tyrone Hill, Sam Cassell. It's, it's gonna get ugly, man. It's gonna get ugly, man. I, I don't know if he's faking like he don't understand English, but after, after December 14th, he's gonna speak English. And, and the fight, I, I don't think it's going for full 12 rounds. I'm going for the knockout. All right, good here. All right, touch him up. Good luck. Play Olympia. Well, guy hasn't thinking. Broner seemed to have taken his opponent too lightly as he taunted Maidana with a sexual gyration early in the fight. Oh, wow. Feeling confident and in control. Maidana returned the favor with multiple electrical left and right punches to the delight of the fans. Referee Lawrence Cole, but here's the left hook getting in. And you know something about that knock, that, that left hook? It almost looked like a jab to the body at first, and now we know why yeah. Maidana was throwing so many jabs to the body yeah. early. Very good point, Paul, and terrific. Because when you look at how he throws... Oh, oh, oh the hook got him. The hook got him. Maidana continued to punish his opponent, who was air-humped into the ropes in the penultimate round as he cruised to a lopsided point victory via unanimous decision in Texas. Go get it. And he Big right, hand. right cross. It shows character. And the new yeah. champion of the world, Marcos El Chino. As Broner makes his way back to the dressing room, losing for the first time. But for Marcos, Maidana becomes a champion for the second time in his career. Having Whitlock landed a well-placed right heavy punch to Jackson's head in round two, which couldn't have been beaten better with dancing spice to the mix. Jackson was back up at the seven count and seemed to be taking that down quite well. Whitlock followed suit but could not defeat Jackson early. In that squared circle when you've been hurt, one minute left. Those long arms of Jackson now. We better use them to tie up. Right okay. here. Everything gotta go back. Rinse this. Okay. Everything gotta go back in the pocket. All right. Careless with this guy. Right, right, right. Once you throw your jab, you get everything you want. But I need three jabs. Okay. I don't need one. Okay. Keep the hit. Stop standing. Then in the third round, a completely different Jackson showed up. Jackson, who had been majorly beeped in the previous round, took control. Becoming more and more aggressive, Jackson put Whitlock in the corners. He rained a violent flurry of punches on Whitlock until referee Charlie Fitch intervened to end the fight. Back and wins it with a TKO. What a turnaround by Greg Jackson. He lying. And here you go down below. And again, that time you saw Jackson gave up his height, but kept enough range where he was getting extension on those punches and got the job done. And then showed that he thinks he can... After an unbelievably annoying ring entrance, Usman Uzi Ahmed got what he warranted as he was knocked out ferociously by Ashley Section in round one on January 23, 2010. After acting like he was on ecstasy at a rave and being over the top brash once he got into the ring, you would think he was one of the greatest fighters in history.
Ashley Flash Ash Sexton hit Usman Ahmed with a heavy flush right hand that made Ahmed's head snap back and forth in an almost cartoonish, unrealistic fashion like Ahmed's head flew into the rafters. It's the right hand and he's been having success with that since the opening bell! Oh, what a knockout! No way he'll get up from that! Fight's over! Ashley Sexton wins in amazing style! But ah, oh, can... He stepped right in with a punch. I mean, he was throwing the punches that mattered from the start, but you can see the way it collapsed to the floor. It was alarming. Beautiful punch. Couldn't have landed any cleaner on the button. Five-time world champion Gervonta Davis added to his fast-growing highlight reel and retained his WBA lightweight title with a spectacular knockout victory over previously unbeaten Rolando Romero. But like anything you do, I f like, bro, like, he's like this tall, man. Like, it's like, hey, little boy, stay over, stay over there, stay over there, little boy, stay over there, right? That's how it is. Brother, you said you think this is going to be a first round knockout. What made you say that? He's easy to hit. He has a big head. He's scared, man. He's scared, man. You see the push in his eyes. Yeah, There's no way I can miss. He has a big ass head. I think koala shaped head. Koala with chlamydia, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fierce rivals finally settled their war of words in the ring in a highly anticipated event. Davis displayed great boxing abilities, while Romero, who promised a first-round knockout, was unable to hurt Davis despite pushing the pace initially. In round six, Davis gave his legions of loyal fans what they had come out to see, landing the decisive blow as he had guaranteed in the pre-fight build-up. Davis closed the show with a fierce counter left hook that sent Romero face first into the ropes and onto the mat. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to tell us about your favorite knockout in the comments section below. See you in the next video with some interesting content. Until then, stay tuned.